What's going on, guys? Some small changes happened recently. Um, I bought Guapa, that 80-gallon heater from Fluval, and I saved some of those minnows from the stock tank. Um, this heater was only like around 54 bucks, I think. Um, 52 actually. But I had like a little bit of a discount, so I kind of got lucky. But I also have the Amazon link for anyone who uh, was interested in getting one as well, because they also have ones that are just for less tank sizes as well, and they're pretty high quality product. I wasn't expecting it, but uh, I'll go into that in a little bit. Anyways, I was debating between two different brands. One was Fluval, and the other one was Top Fin. Uh, Top Fin was a bit cheaper, but the quality is just like kind of meh, and Fluval is like a lot more like higher quality. I decided to get like the bougie thing for Guapa because I love it and I wanted to have the best, you know? This, this heater gets really nice and warm. Uh, it only gets warm when it, the water gets cool and it needs to be wet. It won't get warm when it's dry. And I picked it up because I was like kind of changing it and it actually gets really hot. It kind of hurt for a second, so that's really cool that that, that managed to happen. So we're, we're good with that. It also has a thermostat, which is kind of hard to see at first, but um, it, it'll tell you. So I'm going to get a separate one later on because, I mean, it's hard to see. But it's good to know that it's hard to see because it doesn't have any paint on it. So I'll be having guapa in some healthier water, basically. I think guapa is going to be very happy with this heater. I mean, it's only been a day since I, like, put the heater in and the water is doing nice. She's, like, a lot more active now. Like, I mean, she was active even before the heater because the water would stay hot but it's getting fall time and i'm not gonna have the greenhouse ready until like probably another month at, at, at most so yeah anyways in the meantime of doing this i also saved the baby minnows uh so i took like i think around seven or eight of them i just was netting them up with a uh, fishnet and yeah no i just put them in a bucket and uh i'm gonna just fill it up with water and, and i'm gonna put the minnows in here so let's do this All right, just a little bit of water, and now I gotta go get the minnows. All right, so they're baby minnows. Minnows are fast, they're kind of hard to catch, kind of. And guapa's there now, so. All right, we got one. I mean, uh, that, that's kind of a kind of thing that I, I've been working on, because I just have these minnows, and now I'm just like, whoa, what do I do with them? They like bread? And all the adults basically died. I only got one surviving adult in that aquarium over there. But I, I don't know what to do with them. Well, I do know what to do. I'm just going to keep them. Um, I got a 20-gallon aquarium, too, upstairs. It's my grandma's. I gave it to her. So I'm going to... It was Guapa's little tank, actually. But um, anyways, I, I need to speak more into the mic. I'm sorry. Um, so anyways, we... Uh, yeah, just... Uh, did that and so I got that beta heater right here I'm just gonna put it in here cuz why not even though minnows are cold tolerant but I guess I'm gonna have that big minnow and a bunch of baby minnows in that tank so here we go I have a wax melter oh, let me focus it and the wax just got me on uh, my hand it's like Shrek goo. All right, so now I'm just gonna put some water in here into that bucket, let the baby minnows adjust, and then I'm gonna keep them all in there. All right, so the cup has been secured. I'm just gonna do that. I'm, I'm just gonna wait like 15 minutes and then we eat them in there. So, everything's done. I'm just gonna eat them in there softly. So anyways, we, uh, yeah, just, uh, did that and gonna, gonna worry about that later. 
I don't need to worry about that right now because they're they're still babies. They're small and they're in a ten gallon aquarium. Yeah, because I just don't want an overstocked tank. That's the last thing I want. But for right now, it's okay. I also found this one big minnow that was like part of the baby, like the biggest one out of the whole baby batch. And I wanted to save him too because like he looks like he has good genetics. So we'll just uh, we'll just keep him there and see see what happens later on. But yeah, that's it for now. Uh, let me know what you guys think and what you guys want to see and what you guys think of the minnows and the heater. And yeah, if you're interested and you want to support the channel, uh, hit the Amazon affiliate links and get yourself some turtle equipment and some fish equipment. And I appreciate you guys making it this far into the video. So drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time or when I make those shorts with my phone or when I try to do effort more.